So just a few days ago, I made a video talking about the state of social media for artists and just art in general and how ultimately it's pretty bad. It's not good at all. And today's video I wanted to make because there is a recent article or a wave of articles that have come out over Facebook and Metaverse. And if you wanted more reasons to just drop them, never use their services again, or just take a big fat shit on them, I got some for you today. <laughs> <laughs> so an article that was posted by The Verge yesterday, the title said Meta fed its AI on almost everything you have posted publicly since 2007. Unless you're in the EU, there's no ability to opt out of AI training settings that keep Facebook or Instagram posts public. So of course, when you read that title, for some people, you're probably going to be like, no shit. Of course, all these companies are doing it. YouTube does it. Google does it. Facebook, Metaverse, all these companies do it. But to actually have it be proven and concrete and hear the company themselves say it is a pretty big deal. That's actually pretty fucking damning because you got to think beforehand. Sure, you can sit there and read in TOSs or typically these companies like to sit there and say, oh, no, 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 no. We're not just doing it just to do it. You have choices. You have options. We're not just doing it because we want to. You have the choice to opt out. It's just that when we give you the option, we make it opt in first and you need to opt out so that we can sit there and do it because we know you're too lazy to opt out. It's pretty fucking scummy. So it says right here, Meta has acknowledged that all texts and photos that adult Facebook and Instagram users have publicly published since 2007 have been fed into its artificial intelligence models. Australia's ABC News reports that Meta's global privacy director, Melinda Claybaugh, I probably fucked that up, my bad, initially rejected claims about users' data from 2007 being leveraged for AI training during a local government inquiry about AI adoption before relenting after additional questioning, which is fucking scummy. That is fucked up. They sit there and denied it to begin with. And like, ah, see, I, I, not, nope, nope, nope. Our hands are clean. They're not red handed. You, you're looking at us? No, we're good. We're, we're good. We're the good guys. And of course, we all know that's not true. That's what I'm saying. Like, this is pretty fucking big deal because they pretty much lied. It's not even pretty much lie. They did lie. They fucking lied. And then they got caught red handed. And they're like, wait, 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 wait. Uh, oh, shit. You got us. All right. Hey, our bad. Our bad. It says, and the truth of the matter that unless you have consciously set those posts to private since 2007, Meta has just decided that you will scrape all the photos and all the text from every public post on Instagram or Facebook since 2007, unless there was a conscious decision to set them on private. Green Party Senator David Shoebridge pushed an inquiry. That's the reality, isn't it? And then Meta's global privacy detector said, Correct. Wow, it's pretty interesting what happens when you pose your questions a little bit differently. See, these companies are trained to sit there and expect any type of question, and so they can always have an answer to try and deny any type of question possible. Because let's be real here. Hey, the Australian government, they took a big W here at the way they posed this fucking question to get Meta to actually say shit and actually admit to something because of the way that they were trying to fucking skirt this shit to begin with. But these companies are trained, their PR people are always trained to sit there and give answers so that they never actually confirm or deny things. And it's always where they're never going to be held liable. But once you pose the right question where they have no way to actually escape it and they have to sit there and answer it, like this question, it's pretty fucking damn it. It says Meta's privacy center and blog posts acknowledge hoovering up public posts and comments from Facebook and Instagram to train generative AI. We use public posts and comments on Facebook and Instagram to train generative AI models for these features and for the open source community. We don't use posts or comments with an audience other than public for these purposes. But the company has been vague about how data is used when it started scraping and how far back its collection goes. Asked by the New York Times in June, Meta didn't answer other than confirming the settings post to anything besides public will prevent future scraping. That still won't delete the data that has already been collected and people posting back in 2007 who may have been minors at the time wouldn't have known that their photos and posts would have been used this way. So the Facebook rep said that Meta doesn't scrape data from users who are under the age of 18. And then when the Labor Party Senator Tony Sheldon asked if Meta would scrape the public photos of his children on his own account, the Facebook rep confirmed it would and was unable to clarify if the company was also scraped adult accounts that were created when the user was still a child. And if for anyone who's from the EU that's watching this video, it says you're European users can opt out due to local privacy regulations and Meadows recently banned from using Brazilian personal data for AI training, but the billions of Facebook and Instagram users in other regions can't opt out. They want to keep their po uh, posts public. Uh, the Facebook rep was unable to say if Australian users or anyone else would be given a choice to opt out in the future, arguing that the option was given to European users because of uncertainty regarding its regulatory landscape. Meta made it clear today that if Australia had same laws, Australian data would have been protected. Shoebridge said to the ABC News, the government's failure 
to act on privacy means companies like Meta are continuing to monopolize and exploit pictures and videos of children on Facebook. Now, I think that that's just like the got them all post right there. The got them all statement is, you know, for the children, for the children. God, we, what about the children? I think that's, you know, of course, a fair point. But I mean, I think in general, it's not just about the children, but just in general, training off people's fucking data. Where is the actual data privacy? Where is any form of regulation at all? from the u.s here no one gives a fuck no one cares about data privacy it's fucking disgusting it's fucking awful actually and it's just one of those situations where you know facebook's like hey, hey it's not our fault you ain't made laws to put handcuffs on us we're just doing what we can because you let us uh you know why don't you be smart like the other fucking countries out there and actually make some laws and then guess what you know, it may, maybe we would have some settings where, you know, your users would, uh, you know, maybe have the option for us to not train on their data. That's fucking scummy. Like, no matter what, even if the governments are at a fault and they are in the wrong and they should be fucking smart enough to sit there and actually push data privacy protection bills and laws to try and protect your average consumer, it's still on the company as well, too. They are fucking scummy. Facebook is scummy as fuck to sit there even making the statements that they did here and the fact that they even go through with it anyway. This shouldn't be something where you should have a law that forces you to sit there and have to put in an opt-out button for your fucking data collection for your AI models. It shouldn't work that way. It should be a given. That should be a human right to sit there and be given an opt out button so that you can have your data to yourself and not be fed into a fucking machine, especially when you already have the option for other countries, at least in the fucking EU. It's fucking wild. But for those that are in the UK, I saw this article came up today and I might as well read this because it fucking sucks. But uh, you know what? Here, here it is. Meta reignites plans to train AI using UK users, public Facebook and Instagram posts. Meta has confirmed that it's restarting efforts to train its AI system using public Facebook and Instagram posts from its UK user base. Now, I don't know what all this dog shit means, but hey, you know what? You're from the UK, you're, you're British. Hey, maybe this is gonna touch your heart and your soul. It says the company claims it has incorporated regulatory feedback into a revised opt-out approach to ensure that it's even more transparent as its blog post spins it. It's also seeking to paint the move as enabling its generative AI models to reflect British culture, history, and idiom but it's less clear what exactly is different about its latest data grab. It says from next week, Meta said UK users will start seeing in-app notifications explaining what it's doing. The company then plans to start using public content to train its AI in the coming months, or at least do training on data where a user has not actively objected via the process Meta provides. Now, a lot of this is just more like super in-depth detailed information. The only part else I want to go over was just this right here, where he's talking about the opt-out objections and sort of what the issue was the first time around. It said one of the many bones of contention over Meta's approach to the first time around was the process it provided for Facebook and Instagram users to opt out of their information being used to train its AI. Rather than giving a straight up opt in slash out checkbox, the company may users jump through hoops to find an objection from hidden behind multiple clicks or taps, at which point they were forced to state why they didn't want their data to be processed. They were informed that it was entirely at Meta's discretion as to whether this request would be honored, although the company claimed publicly that it would honor each request. Again, fucking scummy ass bullshit. That's all this stuff is. And so they provided screenshots right here just telling you what you should know, what this means for you, uh, country or resident, email address. Please tell us how this process it impacts you. Like, you shouldn't have to do all this shit, dog. You should sit there and simply be a checkbox and say, hey, opt out. Can't train off my shit. The end, end the story. That's it. But no, that's not really how Facebook wants to do it because they're a fucked up piece of shit company that will try and get as much data from you that they possibly can. Also, just to add on to that, that's the reason why my video I made a couple of months ago talking about the Instagram situation where everyone was posting on their story saying, I, I don't give you permission to Instagram to train off my data. Uh, you can't do this, blah, blah, blah. My reaction to that entire situation was that it was pretty much fucking stupid because it doesn't serve any purpose. Facebook Meta is a fucking gigantic billion dollar plus company. They are going to sit there and do what the fuck they want. They're going to sit there and say that you didn't go through their opt out process. So even though you made a story saying that they can't do it, that holds no weight because you didn't go through the proper channels to do so in terms of opting out for uh for their uh, generative AI or just AI in general collection or their data collection. The only real way that you can ensure that your data, your art or anything in general is not being and trained on from companies like Facebook is you have to delete your account or just don't upload anything ever again. Doesn't mean that the shit that if you deleted all your stuff today on there that is won't be stored or archived or already trained on. Highly doubt that it's probably already been fed into the machine as it's already been confirmed <laughs> in the article earlier. But at least you can prevent future stuff being fed into the machine if you quit posting on it, you quit using their services. But the question is, and this is a big one, 
how much willpower do you have to quit using a service like Instagram, Facebook, or any of these other apps that have sit there and blatantly stated that they're going to use your shit to train their AI models? It's up for you to decide. I'm not here to judge you. You do what you feel is best for you because honestly, there is no right or wrong answer. I've said that multiple times. People need to use apps like these because they rely on it for commissions. This is how they get their business. This is how people find their content. You know, unfortunately, that's kind of like the, the two sides of evil and you have to sit there and kind of put up with it and just hope for the best. But ultimately, it comes down to what you think is best for yourself. Anyways, I just want to cover this real quick because I saw it on my news feed and, it, you know, I like to talk about all the AI stuff on this channel, things that are related to it, because I know there's a lot of artists that follow this channel those that post on instagram might post on facebook don't know why you would at this point i think it's just for boomers at this point personally but chance that you're posting your art on facebook chance that you're posting on instagram hopefully this information might have been some use to you anyways you made this far into the video consider giving a like subscribe to the channel leave me comment below what you think join the discord if you haven't yet have a great day yeah